Hello all, I'm Commander Santanam from Bangalore, Karnataka, India. This video is a second of the series on 64 KB ECHS card covering useful actions you can perform with the 64 KB card. The first video was released by me on 27th of May, 2022. It covered the registration into the web portal, card application fill up, receiving the card and use in polyclinics. You will recall that during registration in the site called as ECHS.SourceInfosys.com, you have registered a mobile number and set up a password for the login. In addition, you answered two security questions, namely, what is your mother's name? and what is your city of birth. As advised in that video, you will be keeping them safely, I hope, to refer when required. Let us now look at some of the facilities which are available online, which can be used by every one of you very easily uh, using a computer. The first one is how to set up or change the password which you set up during registration. It is possible that you have forgotten the password or you have lost the old password. Don't worry about it. This video will help you in the next about six, seven to 10 minutes to set up a new password. I assume as it is essential that you at least have the answers to the two security questions which you set up during the registration. Now let's go forward and see the procedure to set up a new password. Log in to the web portal ECHS.SourceInfosys.com. Put it in your bookmark so that next time you can easily access this site. Once you launch this site, Enter your registered mobile number. Enter the verification CAPTCHA as displayed exactly and click forgot password. A new window will be displayed where you click the option using security questions. A form will be displayed to you. You enter the answers to both the security questions in the respective place indicated. You enter a new password, which you want to set it up twice. One entry, the second one is for confirmation. Enter the verification CAPTCHA and click change password. If you have answered the two security questions correctly, you will get a message or you'll see a message flashed on the screen saying that the password has been changed successfully. The above actions from start to finish takes up just about five minutes. And this can be done from a computer. Keep this password along with the two security questions safely, especially ensure that your family or the next stop pin also knows about this. Let us see the second feature available online. You already know how to log into ECHS.SourceInfosys.com by entering the registered mobile, entering the password, which you already have set up. In order to do that, open the site on the right hand side top. There is an option which is written already registered. Click the login. Click this particular option. Enter registered mobile password, verification code as displayed and click login. In the window displayed, there is an option on the right hand side called as more option. Click more options. With this, you will see many options on top. Let us look at an uh, important one. Change mobile number. That is the mobile number which you registered during the first registration can now be changed 
for all your future logins. So click change mobile number. In the window display, enter the current mobile number. Click the box below in the action box. Click that because you want to change mobile number of the primary beneficiary. Enter the new mobile number. Enter a simple reason. Click submit change request button. You will be displayed with a form called as a change request. Take a printout of this request. Go to your parent polyclinic. Meet the officer in charge with this printed form and a copy of your 64KB ECHS card. The OEC polyclinic will approve your request for change in mobile number online in his system. That's it. From now onwards, if you have to log into ECHS.SourceInfosys.com, you can use the new mobile number. Let us see the third facility. How do you change the parent polyclinic? It is quite important for many reasons. We may have a parent polyclinic as MEG Polyclinic in Bangalore. And uh, we may have shifted the residents to Delhi, Noida. So it is possible to change the parent polyclinic once every three months. For a 64 KB ECHS card holder, this can be done online from your home. Let's see how to do it. Log in to ECHS.SourceInfosys.com. Enter mobile number, password, verification capture, login. More options on the right hand side, click on that. Right on top, you will see an option, change polyclinic. Click that. You must select the beneficiary for whom you want to change the polyclinic. The reason being, you can be in one parent polyclinic and a spouse can be in any other parent polyclinic. This facility or flexibility is provided by the ECHS to all of us. Select against the beneficiary whose foreign polyclinic to be changed by clicking the square button below the heading called action. Now a display will be seen on the left hand side first field. Select the regional center from the drop down. The regional center for example, is Bangalore. Regional center can be New Delhi. So select the regional center to which the new parent polyclinic belongs to. So select that city. The next drop down, select very carefully the new polyclinic. Don't make mistake in this selection. Enter the reasons for requests such as shift of residence, Submit change request. That's it. Your action is completed. Online, the OSC of the current parent polyclinic will approve. The OSC of the new polyclinic will also approve. Once both of them have approved, the status of approval will be seen in this particular page by you. Once you see the approvals, approved status, Go to the new polyclinic, register your 64 KB card in the kiosk. As I mentioned in the beginning, you can change the parent polyclinic once in six months, three months, I'm sorry, once in three months online. Submitting this parent polyclinic request takes just about 10 minutes. However, the approval by both the OACs may take maximum 24 hours, depending on the time you submit the request. The last option, which is also very useful for every one of us is, what happens if you have lost the 64 KB ECHS card? You might have misplaced it somewhere and you're not able to find it. Absolutely no problem sitting from your home, you can manage this loss. 
Don't worry about it. You can order for a reprint for that lost card online. However, there is a certain amount of payment is also required to be made online. Now let us see how we can do this. Assuming that the primary beneficiary, which is you, your card is lost. Once again, go to ECHS.SourceInforces.com, log in with your mobile number, password, verification capture, click login. On the right hand side, click more options. Now on the top of the display, you will see two options. One is on the right extreme, you see block cards. Other one is reprint 64 KB card. The first action you have to do when a card is lost is to first block that particular card. So click on the block cards. Against the beneficiary whose card is lost, tick mark that square box. A screen will be displayed. Select reason in drop down. You will see due to loss of 64 KB cards. Select that, enter remarks and submit. Please note from now onwards, this card cannot be used even if you find it because you already blocked it and this is irreversible. Now go back to the home on the top right, click more options, click an option which is displayed called reprint of loss of 64 KB card. When you click on it, you will see your request for blocking the card on top. Okay. And now you order a reprint using online option. Make the payment as indicated online as displayed. This request for reprint automatically goes to the company which prints these cards. They will print the card, send it to your city, either to the station headquarters office or to the polyclinic as the case may be. They will generate an OTP. That OTP will be received in your registered mobile, which indicates that your reprinted card is now ready for collection. Take your registered mobile phone along with the OTP, meet the OAC, collect the card, and uh, they will enter the OTP to activate the card in the system. Go to your parent polyclinic, do first time registration and start using the reprinted card. So you will see that from the comfort of our home, we can do a lot of activities using your mobile number and the password by entering into ECHS.SourceInforces.com site. If you like this video and the earlier videos which I have posted in this Helping Hands for ECHS YouTube channel, click subscribe. Please visit my web portal, Helping Hands for ECHS, where for every activity of ECHS, there is a step-by-step -step procedure. If you still need help, do not hesitate to call me. Jai Hind.